We have made it up to Scales Campground in the Mount Rogers area. It's a bumpy lumpy ride up the long road and there's cool cows up here hanging out all outside the corral and the campers are inside the corral. Mm -hmm. The Appalachian Trail I think cuts through right over here. I'm pretty sure this is this is the AT hole right over here. We're not. Yeah, the trail goes outside the corral. Trail is this way. We're on the Appalachian Trail headed south, away from and up from the Scales Campground in our way clockwise around Grace and Highlands. And there's parking over at Massey Gap, which is where I left off on our last section over that way. So we're going to go that far and connect up with that, complete the section, and then see which way is shorter to get back here to the campground. Are we entering or leaving? Oh, I guess we're entering. Jefferson National Forest. Little Wilson Creek Wilderness. Oh, I never heard of it. Didn't even know it was here. Hmm? What's up there? Oh, there's a per oh, people. people. Got a whole slew of tent sites up there, and a bear box here, and a stream over here. Yep, nice cluster of campsites right behind the gate going northbound as you exit the park. Not too far past the shelter, which there is no tenting at.
Oh, there's a privy here somewhere too. So this would be the wise shelter. Hmm, really strange. Looks like there's two privies here. One over there. Okay, it gets an A just for having two of them. Oh, it's fine now. Yeah. Totally not a fan of that spring. I would prefer using the stream. transitioned over onto the Pine Mountain Trail. We're going to cut across, it's about two miles long, we're going to cut back over to the northern part of the Appalachian Trail, back where we started by the scales. Two miles to Roto Gap. That's how I thought it was two miles. To Roto Dendron Gap. Yeah, that, that's the cutoff. Oh, we're at the Appalachian Trail. Yeah, scales 1.5. All right. All right. Let's see. We got water over 
this way. It's a pretty gross spring. Um, I'm gonna go down the other end of the long tube and see if there's anything coming out. Uh, I guess you could scoop some stuff out from that. 